Hello y'all, and welcome to lesson 2 of the Command Block Academy, Skyblock Edition. Class of 2020. Yes, today we're going to take a look at all the commands which we will be using in the final Skyblock clone game. Mind you, the game is going to be just a basic game, which you can add mods and stuff later on. But for now, we will just focus on these basic commands. And like I said before, Java has way more commands than Bedrock, but we are on Bedrock. So let us begin. This one is teleport. Let's try it out first. Okay, to check out the command, it's TP nearest player zero zero. Four blocks high, which is this level right here in this area, as all the flat areas are. Now by pushing that, I went ahead and got teleported. Very easy to remember. Set block. This one will set a block anywhere in the world. One block. Let's check it out. Sets a block of diamond there. And then this one will clear it a few seconds later because of the delay in ticks. 40 ticks is two seconds. And you can see here, it says set block to air. Two blocks down from it, one, two. And this one is diamond ore, one block down, one. Set block. Very good at using when I need to put redstone somewhere to activate another command block. Fill. Let's check this command out. Fill. Fills all parts of the region with a specific block. Now you can see the syntax here. It's an area starting, ending, what block, what data type, and what kind of mode you want to use on it. If you use replace, which is a real popular command in my opinion, you will see the power of this fill command. Now let's check it out. This one will fill this area with stone. Now these tildes means that it's coming from the location of this command block. Five spaces in front, three above, and five to the left. Then all the way to 15 further in front of us, 13 higher, and five to the right, full of stone. Let's check it out. Boom. So this is a 10 by 10 by 10 block of stone. Now, this one will clear the area, which is just the same command, but fills it with air. Fill command. The clone command. Now this command is one of the most powerfulest commands in the game. I use it to change levels or to reset the game field after a big battle. And we will get into these commands more in detail in the next lesson when you see the demonstration of me resetting the levels. This has to do a lot with the server lag and saving it. Let's check out this command. First we must fill this area here, then we will clone the area to the top. There you go. And that's the clone command. Now this one is move. So what happened was that it cloned it to the top and moved it. Now if we remove, moved, if we remove everything, it should just leave the copy on top and the original on the bottom. So let's try this out. Let's clear that. Let's put this here. That'll clone up there and there you go. 
summon command. This will summon mobs and items, entities. This one will summon a villager. And there you go. Pretty self-explanatory. We can summon different villagers, baby villagers, villagers with hats, bald villagers. You could use this to summon other mobs as well. Test for. Test for. This will count entities, players, mobs, items, etc. matching specific conditions. So this one is testing for the closest player within the radius of two. Let's see what it finds out. Nothing. No targets. So if we were to go into the radius, now it found me. This one I usually use with a repeating command block to test for people, pretty much. But there's other uses we will find out later. You could test for entities, you could test for dropped items, or anything. Okay, now we're coming to the nice and juicy stuff. Mm, the marinated stuff. Yeah. This one's a test for block. This one's really powerful because it checks the area for a certain block. As you can see in this command, it will clear the emerald from a closest player if they have one in their inventory. If they don't, it doesn't do anything. Could not clear the inventory of me. Well, let's go get an emerald and see what happens. I'm going to take that emerald from the other example. Now let's try this again. Now it took it from me. It was successful. It turned on these comparators. So now I get to check for the power comparator. Now what happens if I have it powered? This is the command block as I stated in the last lesson where it needs to be true in order for it to work. So it'll say true if it finds that powered comparator. And it said true. That example can be used for your store. Execute. This one's the mining aura. Execute command is very powerful because they use it to execute another command. This command is going to execute the fill command on me. So everywhere I go, I'm going to be filling everything that's stone and replacing it with air. Let's try this out. It's a three block radius, as you can see by the coordinates. Let's turn this on. And then we can go back over here to the stone example and set the fill and hell. We can do the clone too. So we can have two of these things. Now I can just pass right through this and everything should turn to air. Very nice command, right? Not gonna erase everything here. And this is nice because it'll erase just the stone and leave all the ores or leave everything else intact. I used it to test for netherite to see what is the best concentration at what level. And I found out level 17 was pretty much the best. But there you go, that's that. Game mode. This is pretty much self-explanatory. There's three game modes in Minecraft bedrock condition creative survival and adventure if i hit creative that's what i'm already in and you can use any block in the game and fly and everything survival gives you hearts experience hunger and now i have an inventory you can see i've been putting in a lot of work look at that leather man i must have went some someplace you got structure blocks and everything we will get into that later. That's some new stuff. And adventure mode. Now adventure mode, you can't break nothing. Survival, you can break everything. Let's get back in creative and let's check out the rest. Clear. Now we've seen this command earlier over there when it cleared the emerald from me. Give. This is the same thing, but reversal. So if you give me, here, let's go into 
survival mode. Oops. So you can see how many I have. So I have three of them. Two. I gave this guy one. Let's see. Oh, I can't even see it. Okay, see, it just takes one out for me. And this one just gives me one. Two. Three. Nice. So you can only read command blocks when you're in creative mode. Now if you take two away from me, and I have three, okay, and I still have one, it'll still work. And it'll still fire the next thing. So I will show you in the future episodes how to bypass that and make sure that you can clear the exact amount from people. Enchant. Now this one's nice. You can enchant anything to anything that it belongs to. So sharpness belongs on the sword. If I did that, now my sword's enchanted. But I can't enchant any other piece of armor. Armor doesn't work. So you gotta watch what you gotta enchant. I'm sure there's a list in the Minecraft wiki or something. This one will enchant. Replace item. Now this... I had an example here that it will replace the item of the skeleton. As you can see here, we will summon a skeleton 10 blocks in front of us that's aggressive and we named him Skeletor. So we can go ahead and change his armor chest plate to a diamond piece. Then we will also replace his main hand with a diamond sword. So now he can't shoot us. Let's try it out. There he is. And that is replace item. You could also replace your items. So if you have an adventure map and you need somebody to lose their item or replace it or something, it'll change out your item. Effect. Now this one, it'll take the Skeletor and give him speed of one for 20 seconds. Let's check it out. Now he's fast. That is effect. Now you could give yourself effect too. And that's today's lesson. The next lesson, we will start putting all these commands together and making some circuitry that we can use for the game. Let's change this to a repeat command. There you go. Now we have a challenge. Let's go to survival and run. Dude, this is like left for dead. Look at that. The health goes down fast. Imagine if I gave him netherite stuff and enchanted it. You know what? I need my enchanted. Oh, that guy can see me. Wow, this is starting to get scary. Oh, damn, you can see me. Yep, he's coming after me. Let's go, let's go. Oh damn, that guy sees me too. Let's go and channel herself. Now we got some. Oh man, we're about to die. That sharpness five. Look at that. Sharpness five. 